Now let's use Coefficients GPT Chart Builder to speed up our chart building process. We can use Chart Builder with both a raw data set or with summary tables like pivot tables. First, let's try with this raw data set of contact data. As a prompt, let's ask it to show us a map with countries colored in blue based on their total spending. And there we go. We have a map of the world with countries with more spending colored in darker blue. We can then click into our settings if we need to make any more edits. Next up, let's try this with a summary pivot table. Here we'll take our traffic sources data, and as a prompt, let's say we want a donut chart by source with percentage labels, and let's ask it to be in 3D mode with no background or border color. And there we go. We have a donut chart, and we can easily see percentages for each of our main traffic sources. You can also see if I click into the settings that it's clearly in 3D mode and there is no uh, border or background behind it. Finally, let's look at this date field. Here we have first contact date and whether or not the contact is registered for our event. In this case, let's ask for a line chart with registered true in blue and registered false in dotted red. And we'll say we only want labels for the true line. And here we go. We can see we have our lines for percentage of contacts that registered, blue showing true, and dotted red showing false. And we only have labels showing up for our true line. That's only a small preview of what you can do with coefficients. GPT Chart Builder. Google Sheets has about 20 different charts available. Uh, so try them all out, and we hope you enjoy this new feature.